Welcome, Leo. Um, I am doing your reading on a very special day. Um, some of you know what it is, and um, those who don't have a feeling you'll figure it out through the reading. Um, by the way, this is for Leo, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Um, I have a feeling many of you are going to be intuitively guided to this reading. Maybe you don't have Leo in your chart, or maybe you don't know that. But, I, but I'm going beyond that. I have a feeling you're going to be spiritually guided. Um, or you could be in love with the Leo. You know, it could be many different reasons you ended up at this reading. And I just say welcome. So anyways, this is a very special day. A very special reading. Um, and yeah, um, I actually jumped over Cancer's reading to do your reading today. Because, well... Just because, you know what, it's like, I don't know why I don't want to really say why. Um, I just think we should do the reading. All right, that's what we're going to do. Let's go ahead and begin. We're going to use our Mother Mary for our words of wisdom. Of course, always love her. We're going to use the Gilded Tread to clarify or to go deeper. I have a feeling we're probably going to go deep in this reading. Um, I was torn between, I was going back and forth between the Psychic Tarot and the Cozy Witch. And, you know, then I was just like, all right, I'm just going to close my eyes and I'm just going to let my intuition. Because I was thinking about it too much. And this is what I ended up going with the Cozy Witch Tarot. Um, so, I don't know. Let's go ahead and give Mother Mary a couple shuffles. Um, by the way, everything's always pre-shuffled before you get here. I just like to shuffle it with you also here. A um, couple different reasons. I feel like it just helps me to pick up in your energy even more. And I don't know. I don't like, you know, when you think about energy, um, some of you are going to be watching it at different times. But yet I feel like I can still pick on Pick up the energy of the people who will eventually be here whenever, whenever they come. So I feel like I was meant to say that. All right, let me bring the lid down. Oh, got quite a bit. All right. Hmm. Interesting. We have father. Father, my true father is God in heaven who shines healing light upon me, my birth father, and our relationship, Father. The sins of the Father. You know, it's interesting. I was just thinking about that last night. I was just thinking about, like, how they say, you know, the sins of the Father. And I, and I was thinking to myself, well, what about us mothers? You know, because like just thinking back at things, stupid things that I did, like, you know, that other people probably paid price for, like the sins of the mother. So, you know, I don't know why I feel that, but I also feel that for some, this is also talking about like generational type, um, You know, I don't think it's medical. It could turn medical. Um, it just feels like, what do I want to say, like a trait, you know? And a lot of times I feel like it's a trait that I did not want to follow and then yet found myself in it. And sometimes when we find ourselves in it, then we understand a lot more and our perception changes. So. Anyways, father, it'd be funny if we got mother, we got hope, love it, hope, keeping hope alive. I trust that God has a wonderful solution and brilliant plans in, in store for me. Wonderful solutions and brilliant plans in store for you. And it's saying hope, keep the hope alive. You know, this is like the star card. Um, and if we remember that we're also a seed planter, you know what I mean? Like, like if we don't keep hope alive or 
We're not willing to take action, you know, like things may be sent our way, but then we take no action, you know, so it's like we also have to do our part. Hope. And self-respect. I honor and love myself through my healthful actions. Interesting. Self-respect. Interesting. I don't know why I'm just getting this overwhelming feeling of someone who feels like they lost their self-respect. And it feels like, you know, maybe through actions that in one way feel beyond their control, but that's not the reality of it though it feels beyond my control, if that makes sense. Um, but anyways, I feel like this overwhelming, um, just that, like, feeling of... Hmm. You know, I know this feeling. I've been there. That's why I know it so well. I, I've been there. It's just when you, you know, again, it's just like maybe someone's just thinking back to something and, um, but listen, okay, that feels difficult, Um, but I feel like this is energy we can come out of. This is energy that can be changed, and that's the good news, and don't forget hope is here. You know, I don't know why I just took it, like, so dark for a second, Um. But I want you to remember that, you know, like hope in that energy almost feels like the light, the beacon of light to the hermit. You know, I often feel like what the hermit figures out in the dark night of the soul, and that may be what like some are experiencing, or that's what you went through. Um, and then maybe you made some choices that now you wish, you know, we got to learn how to live with regret though. That's hard, but we we still have to learn how not to. Um, I don't know why I get off track. Um, I don't know. The night cups knight of cups romant romanticize the present moment every chance you get hmm it's like staying in a dreamy type of state knight of cups is really about an unexpected cup that's coming your way it's something that in a way you can't plan for. Um, But I do feel like in, you know, like if let's say this is bringing me, let's say love um, and I really want to have love, then I do have to look at myself and I have to, like maybe I do have to forgive myself so that I can, you know, because I feel like, when we live in the past and regret and all of that, and when we remember that we're human and we're going to make mistakes, and those mistakes are actually experiences, then we learn from them, and then we can close the door to them. You know what I mean? Like, we might remember them, but we don't feel the pain of them any longer. Now they're our experience. Like, oh, okay, been there. And I'm saying that because I do feel like, you know, just because of the law of attraction, you got to think about, you know, what I put out there is what's going to return to me. Excuse me, guys. Oh, we have all kinds of cards. We have, well, hello, the world. So interesting. This is the next chapter. And I do believe, you know, it's interesting because, um, Aries is, you know, really the beginning, right? The seed planter, the one 
uh, who ushers in spring, so to speak. And, um, you know, it's about the flowers growing again and, you know, everything's starting to blossom again. Uh, so it's a good time. You know, it's it's something to look forward to. It is the next chapter, and I'm saying Aries because um, Aries is really, to me, the beginning. Like, it starts in that energy, and I'm saying that because I feel like March. Interesting, because it's a two and a one, which is a three. March is a three. Okay. We have the King of Pentacles. Can be a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Doesn't have to be any of that. True success isn't about money. It's about happiness, too. True success isn't just about money. I was going to say the King of Pentacles. It's the true success isn't just about money. It's about happiness, too. You know, this feels like someone who... Um, feels complete in let's say their material world their their career you know doesn't mean that like i'm done for some maybe i am um but it definitely feels like someone who's he feels like he's having a realization that you know maybe i spent so much time working that you know i didn't think about having fun i didn't think about joy and love and that type of thing but now it feels like that's what he's thinking about right like i'm satisfied and listen i think for the king of pentacles to be satisfied within his his or her material world um then it must be pretty good and i don't mean rich i just mean like probably own a home, um, you know, and I shouldn't even go that way because I don't even have to own a home to, you know, um, but anyways, I feel, I feel like grounded. I feel like this is somebody who, um, wants someone else. And I don't know if it's anybody in particular, but I feel like, you know, like I, now I want someone to be in my life, to be part of my life. He may have been single for a while. Um, because again, I feel like, why? Because I feel like I've been concentrating on my money, on my my career, you know, my creativity, whatever it is. Interesting, he's got all these stars around him, though. All right, let's keep going. Mm, nine of cups, inner harmony. Very kind of laid back type energy. Like, I like that for you. I feel like it just feels kind of um, like easy going. And then we have the two of pentacles under the knight of cups. So that's you trying to make a decision. What you're going to do with that cup that this knight is bringing in. What am I going to do with it? They call this a juggler's card. Let's see what it says here. When life gets chaotic, find a way to get grounded and balanced. Interesting. Really, that's what I was talking about earlier. You know, if I'm, gro if I'm grounded and balanced, then chances are whoever is coming towards me or who are we meeting along the way will also be of that energy. You know, but you could say no if you wanted to. I'm not sure why you would. And I'm not even saying this is love. I'm saying it's some cup of fulfillment, though. And ultimately, you know, the Nine of Cups and the Knight of Cups, Knight of Cups, they're mirroring each other. Nine of Cups says, live in a constant state of gratitude. 
you know, it's like this person has a business, like, you know, like, um, in their van. It reminds me of, like, you know, the vans, like, when I was growing, when I was a teenager, everybody owned a van. Um, and we had carpets, and, like, you know, our vans were carpeted, and, you know what I mean? Like, spent a lot of time in the van, we had speakers, and listened to music, and other things. Um, but I have a lot of happy memories about that. And that's kind of when I feel like someone feels very familiar. Um, but at the same time, I feel like this is someone who's like doing their thing. And I kind of feel like doing it well. So do I want to interrupt that? Let's say that's you. Do I want to change that? It's interesting because these two may have taken two very different paths. And, you know, ultimately it's like, I feel like this person's got like this sense of inner harmony emotionally. And I feel like this person is grounded and balanced. Well, I don't know if I want to say balanced because I feel like what's missing and i feel like it's an emotional life it's love it's joy it's laughter but here's the world and here's the energy bringing it on in okay well what you gonna do what you gonna do when it comes for you? All right, let's keep going. Hmm. The Five of Pentacles. Nothing is ever as hopeless as it seems. Nothing is ever as hopeless as it seems. It's a five of pentacles. Next to the two of pentacles. So that must be having a little bit of influence in your decision making. Now, that would mean that I'm looking back though. And, you know, also, it's interesting because I feel like, you know, sometimes when things happen to us that we feel um, hard or negative or what have you, um, you know, like things that happen beyond our control, you know, like these tower moments uh, that, that shake us up and make a change whether we like it or not. Um, I feel like there's many of those that, you know, like years later, we can look back and we can be thankful. Like we can look back now and be like, oh, thank God. Thank God that the tower came at that time. Thank God, because maybe I couldn't do it on my own. But I don't think that's you now. All right. Keep going. Hmm. Look at this. The Ace of Swords. It's like, ring, ring. That's a telephone for those who don't know. <laughs> it's communication. It's communication. Look at you. You're bursting with sparkly new ideas. Okay. That may be exactly why you ended up in that Nine of Cups energy. You know, it's like taking lemons and making lemonade. Anyway. Um, what I really feel, though, is it's some type of communication. Look at that. I'll just split. We have the three cups. 
So it feels like good news. <laughs> you know, that's about celebration. It's really the energy of joy. Um, it's under the Nine of Cups. But it's like, first, this here comes this communication, truth, honesty. And then the celebrating over it. But first comes the decision. But with the Three of Cups now mirroring it, it kind of tells me what this decision probably is. Here's the hermit. <clears throat> Some of you could mean Virgo. It is a card of Virgo. There are some things that must be done on your own. You know, that's going deep. And then letting go. You know, nine is about final reflection. Reflection, but then it's final. Right? You know, um, like, what does God say? Like, you don't have to keep asking me to forgive you for the same thing that you've already asked me to forgive you for. I've already forgiven you. Hmm. All right. Anyway. So, I'm going to put the hermit there. Let's slide these over a little bit so you can see them a little better. You know, maybe someone did go through the dark night of the soul, but then, you know, they came out the better for it, even though it may not have been easy going in it. You know what I mean? And then I do find it kind of interesting that, again, we have, like, the King of Pentacles here by the Nine of Cups. And it feels like two different people with two different energies, but yet perfect, potentially, together. And then here... Again, we have Pentacles and the Nine of Cups, the Hermit with the Nine of Cups. So that I just find that interesting. I don't know why, but I do. Two nines, by the way. So again, it kind of feels like a match. We have the Patient Witch on the bottom of the deck. Learn to get comfortable with sitting still whenever necessary learn to get comfortable with sitting still whenever necessary you know i feel like um before i react i think i don't know Knight of Wands underneath that. It could talk about, you know, because I'm feeling like, you know, I could react in a certain way too quickly. And with the Knight of Wands underneath, that would make sense because that's really, you know, it's like, like a rush of energy. I could come on with a rush of energy. Um, and it could be interpreted the wrong way. Or received the wrong way. So I feel like. Yeah. Calm your mind and the rest will follow. I know that's not the words. Oh. All right. Let's go deeper, guys. By the way, I'm doing your reading in the evening. I always ask myself, why do you pronounce the word? Why do you announce that? And I don't know, except to tell you that the energy is different. And um, if I was alone, I'd probably read more in the night than I would during the day, to be honest. Well, I'd probably do both. Well, I have done both. Because I was single. All right. Let me grab a drink real quick. Just get ready. I 
Drink iced tea, by the way. Getting a nor'easter up here. Uh, my daughter is in um, Rhode Island, New England, and um, I gotta call her. Um, they're supposed to really, I'm not sure about Rhode Island, like she's on the southern part of it, the tip. There's that night, made his way out. There he is. How interesting is coming over another night. Do you see the synchronicities? Two nines over here. Two nights now over here. The Knight of Cups. An unexpected cup of fulfillment. Now with the Knight of Wands means few things. First of all, it's telling me that cup is desirable. It's probably has some passion attached to it. It is action oriented, which means I have to be willing to take action into it. Um, and it is fast moving. And I feel like almost like that's how I come in. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Well, let's see. We have the chariot, but balanced. Good. To me, like, right off the bat, I felt, but I'm balanced. You know, maybe that's um, someone else's older energy, like, like I come in like a tornado, you know, and then people perceive me the wrong way because of that. And, you know, and now I've learned that and I've, I've, I've found that balance within. Because the chariot and the world are, are both, another synchronicity, by the way, are both um, sort of a reward. And it's because you earned it, right? Like you, Like somebody has earned this chariot. Somebody has earned, you know, like the opportunity to go into this next chapter. But the last chapter, like, you know, I want to keep reading it. Even if this is someone of old, it doesn't feel like the same type of energy at all. At least they're balanced. Card of Cancer, by the way. Two major arcanas also. I'm looking at all the synchronicities. You know, the chariot is moved by one's intention. Like I tell the chariot where to go. And if the more I can do that in a balanced state, the higher and higher and higher and higher it goes. <laughs> you know, I get this feeling that I have lived some dark chapters. It's like if I'm if I'm reading my own book, I have a feeling, and when I say me, I really mean all of us. Like like, I feel like I'm reading my book. And in my book, like, there's some difficult chapters. There's some dark chapters. And um, if I'm reading it like the King of Pentacles would, the big picture, instead of like, you know, like, uh, then I can learn a lot from that. I can see the patterns. You know what I mean? I can see how far I've come. You know, maybe I feel like I have lost self-respect. And I feel like your guy just saying, but look at it in a different way. Look how far you have come. And you feel, and if you feel like, but I really haven't, Sandy, then what can you do to change that? You know, it's, Interesting, the things that I 
like I can think of two businesses I owned where it's like they were just out of necessity. And then I turn and then I it, it turned out that I loved them. You know what I mean? Like I just loved it. And but it came like, you know, it was like it was like kind of like a do or die type situation. Okay. Anyway. Two of wands. Hmm. I feel like this king is asking you a question. And then we have the death card. Card of Scorpio. Interesting. You know, I feel like this king is asking, and I keep saying king, it can be a queen. You know what I mean? It's just someone who's showing up more in their masculine type energy. Remember, we both, we all have masculine and feminine energy. That's really what the chariot's about. You know, it's finding that balance between the two. We all have light and dark, right? We can all be assholes. And we can all be angels. Got to find that balance. Fear is a tool to let you know if you should if you should flight. You know. Anyway, I feel like this king is saying. Like they don't want you single anymore. Um, it's interesting because it has the Ace of Swords below. So I do feel like it's communication. And I do feel like it's coming in a question form. But I do feel like ultimately it is someone asking you to walk a path with them. Okay. Let's keep going. There's my birthday right there. I feel like it's a little nod. That's why I point that out. Like it's a little nod from those who love me. All right. Wow. We have the page of cups. You know, it's interesting, Leo, you're showing up. I feel more in the cups energy, more in the water energy. You know, maybe you're going with the flow. Page of Cups, I definitely feel like it ties back to self-respect. Because in the Page of Cups, you know, this is what I feel like. I feel like, you know, let's say this king calls. And maybe I do have some uncertainty. You know, maybe we do get into a discussion about it. Not an argument. Like we talk about it. Maybe we even go deep. And I reveal, you know, how... Some in my past, I regret and what have you. And I don't know. Like, I never say look for a savior through someone else. You know, we are our own saviors. We can, we, it is our actions. So in the page of cops, you really, you know, it's interesting because you're looking for that inner harmony, right? It's it's becoming comfortable with that inner child, which, you know, think of it. Your, the, your ruler is the sun. And then look at this. Four of Wands marriage card. Wow. Will you be mine? 
It's interesting because it's coming over the Five of Pentacles. I feel like, um, I'm hoping that you, if somebody reaches out to you in a, in a, in a balanced energy, because I feel like you're at a state where you can figure that out. You'll know that pretty quickly. I feel like instead of high, like if there's still these like things that reside within you, talk about it. Like be who you are. You know what I mean? Like be who you are. Because if this is about love, like, I want them to love all of me. And I have a feeling, because I'm seeing so many synchronicities, that what you're going to hear is similar experiences. And maybe that alone, like, you're like, hmm, okay. This could be a healing of a marriage or a relationship also. Three of Wands, right under the Two of Wands. Over the Ace of Swords, right next to the Four of Wands. Look at that. Two, three, four of wands. I feel like here's the question. Will you take this path with me? Here is the answer. And here is the destination. This is the journey, the three of wands. This is an energy or, yeah, it's an energy of optimism. You know, you have joy right here. And optimism. This is about enjoying each and every present moment. It's like enjoying the journey. You know, again, like if I'm writing my book, I don't want to skip from the first page to the last page, right? I want to write the journey. And I want the journey to be passionate. And here's the night right here. And I feel like it feels very smooth. And then it's just, and then we are, and then we are. We are us. It's no longer I, it's we. We have the Eight of Pentacles coming out of the Hermit. You know, kind of relates back where I feel like, um, I feel like many have either begun or going to begin um, spiritual type businesses. Maybe you already have. And I feel like, you know, if I'm like, if this is the Eight of Pentacles, and if I'm writing a book over here, I feel like it's about to get good. There are some dark chapters, yes, but now it's about to get good. You know, the Eight of Pentacles says, you know, the question there, because the Eights are about new beginnings. Uh, it's also this, the Universal Year Eight. So maybe it was just meant to be at this time. Look at that, the eight and the nine together. Hmm. I feel like that's another little nod. All right. We're gonna, well, anyways, I was going to say the eight of pentacles talks about, you know, if you focus, like whatever you focus upon is what you're going to grow. And, you know, maybe you do have a career. 
this isn't about no longer having your career. I feel like uh, like I go to work in a whole different way now. All right. Well, hello, son. There's your major arcana. And then we have victory. Victory. So. You know, I'm looking at this hermit with the Eight of Pentacles over it. And she has books all around her. And she could very easily be writing those books. She also has a pendulum. So she's trusting spirit to, like, guide her. And then the Eight of Pentacles above it, I feel like it's probably what I do. I feel like we're looking at some old souls here. And maybe that's why it moves so smoothly when it starts to move. I feel like Mother Mary gave us these cards for a reason. Father, hope, and self-respect. I feel like I'm going to go right below. Interesting, when I move the cards right below, that Five of Pentacles, which really is the, the most difficult card here. The rest are really, um, I don't know, really uplifting. And then you get victory over the most difficult card. And I love the sun over the Two of Pentacles, so it's like the illumination over your answer. Over your decision. And I almost feel like I got to tell myself. Or I'm telling myself. I know I'm going to have to live from my inner child energy. But it has to feel good. And I in no way do I, do I feel. Unless you're still in that five of pentacles energy. No way do I feel like you're in, like, this dire, like, oh, my God, I have to have love. I don't feel that. But it doesn't mean you don't want it. But I don't feel like this dire need. Okay, we're going to take what's up first. And we have the tower. And then, hello, star. Again, we can relate that back to Mother Mary. Your hopes, your dreams, your wishes. It's following the tower. It's interesting because I feel now this king may know about this tower. And if this king doesn't know about this tower, I feel like, talk about it. Because it's coming over the Ace of Swords. I in no way feel like this is a future tower. I feel like this is talking about the towers that you've had. And, you know... I don't know. You just may find yourselves in very long, deep conversations. And I like that because I feel like when you're in those conversations, like you're really finding, you're finding like one's true self. And maybe I don't let everyone go there. Look at that, we have the hermit again. Right by the hermit. You know, my boyfriend has double Virgo. Virgo sun, Virgo moon. But what I want to loop what I want to show you is we have the hermit here who is pretty relaxed, right? But Normally you see the hermit going into a dark cave and I'm asking those big questions. You know, maybe the questions of books can't tell me. But in this hermit, they have emerged. They're now shining their beacon of light. You are now shining your beacon of light outwardly 
to the world. You know, it illuminates, if you look right below it, is a snake. So it illuminates that snake for you. But if that's not enough, here is the sun. So, with the sun, what's ever done in the dark will come to the light. Taking what I know, what I have learned, my experiences, reflecting upon them, and potentially helping others to overcome their now issues when they feel stuck. You know, helping them through. And I don't know, that just seems to me because what I think of karma. You know, like, that's good karma. And only good things will come back. So I in no way feel this is bad for you. I feel it's quite good, actually. And I feel like it's saying, just keep the line of communication open. You know, don't be afraid to speak about, like, the deepest parts of yourselves. Because I feel like, Hey, listen, that's when you may realize, like, wait a minute. I do not let everyone in this part of me, and I feel like you belong. Don't forget, we have the Four of Wands. And the Four of Wands is commitment. It's true commitment. And everyone wants to be in that energy, and victory right below it, and the chariot right above it. You know, as long as this relationship stays balanced, there's no limit. Unlimited potential. That's what the chariot means. I feel like that's, we opened the reading with the king saying that. Like, have my material world now, you know, I'm realizing you know, however it comes together, maybe the king's guides. It's helping to guide two people, you know, more than two people, but it's helping to guide who's ever reading this is together. All right. Um, I'm not going to read all of those cards, but I feel like I feel like I want to read hope. Because I feel like we get the rest. I mean, you know. I could read them all. Um, but for some reason, hope is just standing out to me. All right. This is a message about retaining hope. Even if you have no idea how your situation could resolve itself. Jesus taught about the importance and the power of faith. And your circumstances require it. A person who carries hope in his or her heart is trusting in God's plan. This translate into this translates in, into someone who is happy, relaxed, and easygoing, which is a wiz, winning and magnetic personality that attracts helpful people and golden opportunities. That's what the Nine of Cups is. This message asks you to remain optimistic about your future and to, and to continue giving worries, cares, insecurities, and other forms of fear to God. Who will heal them? In answer to your prayers for increased hope and faith, spiritual help is available to bolster your positive outlook. I mean, here it all is. Here it all is, right before us. Um, so I want to thank you all. You know, for those who don't know, you may be gone already. Um, it is not the day, but, you know, this is, I kept thinking, like, you know, I, my son crossed over on the 12th um, in 2018, and I thought, you know, I should do like something in his honor. And I thought, 
that's why I'm going to do Leo's. And I, I could see like his little nods to me. Um, really all over the place. Uh, and I feel like that's for all of us. That's for all of us to enjoy and to trust and to know. Um, but that's why I did this reading. And that's, you know, I just really felt pulled and um, invited my beautiful son into your reading. So his name's Stephen. Um, so anyway, this is quite beautiful. And I want to thank all of our guides. And I want to thank you. I'm so grateful for you guys. Truly, um, you know, I wouldn't be on YouTube without you. Just wouldn't be. So thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, I'm going to let you be. I will see you next time at our table. Bye-bye. Look at that. Your video doesn't want to end.